<laughs> Woo! Lay ill kid at one yourself holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, another wonderful episode of Beast Vibes Life. I'm joined to my left by the esteemed colleague, the beat maker extraordinaire, Arctron. What's going on, people? It is me, it is I, the Arctron. <laughs> And who I have to my right is Nerd Soul. What up, Alan? Nice to see you in the spot. Alan Lewis. Uh, what up, what up? If you did not know about Beats Vibes Life, this is your first time. This is a show where I bring an album, he brings an album, and we talk about what we thought about it, what we like, what we dislike, you know, tell stories, whatever. We get into it all. Um, see, uh, oh, all right, cool. He's he got that, tribe. He got, got that tribe joint on iTunes. Cool. All right, word up. So, uh, I guess I'll let you start because I, did I start last week? I think I started last week. It doesn't really matter who starts. All right, cool, cool. So, so I'll you let you want start. me to start? Yeah. You, and you, what album did you bring? I brought August Green, which is the collaboration between Common, yep. uh, Robert Glasper, and Kareem uh -huh. Riggins. Ah. And it is a new album, like fairly new this year. It came out this year. I forgot, yeah. I forgot what month it came out, but it May -ish, was something yeah, like May, that? something like that. I remember when they were promoting it. They were on um Tiny Desk. Uh, ah, NPR. yeah, they were on Tiny Desk. And um and so it's my first it's my first time listening to it. And first listen, um, it's pretty good. Um it's a return I can't say a return. Because Common's never really sounded like he's was slipping. Like yeah. Common's always been sharp. Mm -hmm. Um, the music is, is, is more, um, I want to say jazz. Mellow? Yeah, more mellow. Yeah, more cause mellow. that's, that's where I was, I was yeah, feeling more the mellow, whole time. but, um, there's some moments there that are like a little bit not, not so mellow, but it's very chill. Yeah. Um, it's a kind of, I want to say return to the, uh, like Water for Chocolate. It's, it's kind of a echo of like Water for Chocolate. Yeah. Cause it's not exactly that. Cause Light Water for Chocolate definitely had... Way more funkier tunes, yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. Like it was that. funk, yeah. This, if okay, so if like if like water for chocolate is funky, this album is jazzy, and jazz is not, yeah. it's not a bad connotation, yeah. You know, people say, Oh, oh, j that's jazzy, no, no, this is actually a good connotation because yeah, they both, Kareem Riggins and Robert Glasper, know jazz, yeah. They're, now. You're talking about two Grammy winners, no, all three of them have won Grammys, right? Yes. Uh, Kareem, what did he win a Grammy with? Didn't oh, he won with, with a group, won with, with a like, group? Like, yeah, like has a side man as a yeah, group, as some group. So I think that all yeah, yeah, I think he had a jazz. I think, I think he has a them, jazz Grammy. Yeah. yeah, I think all of them got the Grammy. Tommy got a Grammy. We for, might, or, might, one might not, but I believe they all got one. Um, but it is yeah. smooth, yeah, and it has good. a very, it has a very like with the rhymes, it has a very intentional social. Kind of political take yeah. on some Common's things. Common's been on that take for a while. For like yeah. last maybe two or three albums, he had the uh, the album before. No, he had a Nobody Smiling. Yeah, and then he had the, another album. Uh, I think it's called Black Something. Um, uh, man, Black Panther. No, um, <laughs> Black Maybe. No, I was just playing. Black Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's a good song. Yeah, it is. It is a dope song. But um, it's it's got you know a political social kind of uh, bent to it. But without being extremely preachy, I guess you could say. Yeah, I can see that. Um, and very smooth, very mellow. Sometimes a little too mellow for me. Yeah. But then they pick it up real quick with um, it's the actual beat is technically still mellow, but he triples his or he like doubles his what rhymes on it. Um, what's the name of the song? Uh, it's like he's rapping fast and I can't think of. The oh, you're talking about um, not no no apologies. No yeah, I think it's no apologies. Yeah, no apologies. Yeah, that, that's a different kind of style. That yeah. I've really heard Common do that in maybe uh, ever. Uh, yeah, it's been but, a long. Maybe something on Universal Mind Control. Maybe yeah, on there, but uh, hardly ever. We don't talk about um, that album. Yeah, <laughs> that album was it was it was rough. It was rough. It was a rough listen. But this one, um, this one is solid, man. I really enjoy it. If you wanna, if you wanna check out something that's mellow, it just. It seems like it shouldn't work at some times because there are times that I'm like, uh, this album is like slow and it's get, especially with old boy that's singing. And oh. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get to him in a second. Oh, but, but, um, the old boy that's singing. Who old boy that's singing? Because Bilal's a, on here. What are you talking about? No, not Bilal. I You're know about who Bilal. Talking about the Samora Pender, Pender, Pender Hughes, Pender Hughes. Whoever that boy is. All right, so his the one sister that, is the, on here too. All right, cool. She's the flautist. Ah. That was on the tiny desk. 
Ah, so I, I, just made, I just made a connection. I was like, oh, her from the Tiny Death. Oh, yeah. making a connection. All right, so there's a guy on here that sings on two songs. Or Samora. Is it three? Samora's on one, two. Is he on three? three four. He's on a lot of classes. Oh, man, he's on four. All, All right, right I thought six, he was only on three. He's, on, he's basically doing background vocals on a lot of the songs. Yeah, and his he has and, a very interesting voice where it's like, it's almost like he's half singing, but. Sometimes the mood of the song goes very well with his voice. And then sometimes his voice is like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, dude, it's just like, like. What, what did you what feel you? about Brandy? Because she's on here twice. I like Brandy. I've always been a Brandy fan. Okay. I'm not a Dark Child fan. Mm mm. Mm mm. No. You got a problem with Rodney, Rodney, man? Man, Rodney. 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 Who Rodney. brought up, remember when somebody brought up. Rodney, uh, Dark Child being yeah. on the top 10. Yeah, top 10. <laughs> Dark Child's in the top 10. Ooh. In another alternate universe, in a multiverse, maybe. Man, that, and that's, in the negative, that's in the negative multiverse. Not, and this is the dark dimension. <laughs> this is in the dark yeah, dimension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, all my DC fans that know about, uh, what is it, the the Batman metal series, you know about the negative universe and all that stuff. But maybe in that, where everything goes wrong. But so like the bizarre universe, universe, in a way? Um, the negative is universe down, down is... Up. is Bad boy. Uh, pretty much the negative universe is a universe or a multiverse where assume everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Okay. So the Joker has won. You know, uh, you know, uh, Doomsday has won. You know, every, okay. like all these. And it's it's a sick story. And this is aside from August Green. Um, if you ever get a chance to check out, um, it's the Batman Metal series. Um, or is it... It's DC did a series where it was like Batman metal, and you'll see like uh, the Batman that has the spikes around his head, like the Joker smile and everything. That's the series, okay. and it's it's a long series, but it's really dope. Uh, I think it's written by Scott Snyder. It's definitely worth the read. But anyway, back to August Green. Um, it is very timely. I think it's timely with you know the stuff that he's talking about. I think there's a lot of people that can gravitate to this and get something from it, especially due to the political climate that we're in. Um, and it works. It works well. Great musicians, great artists. I won't. I wouldn't say that it's a classic album, and you should run out and get it. Um, but I mean, you can go out and get it. You but say I, classic. I mean, they can at least go around. Yeah, and get it. but I, I would say it's solid, and I wouldn't. I I would definitely recommend it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a super For rush. For the common catalog, I definitely would recommend it. Yeah. Um, um, it's, where it's, would I put this in common ca common's catalog? Uh, we, you want to have that talk? No, no we ain't going to do that. No, nah, let's do it, though. Okay. So, in the common where catalog, would August Green for me, fall? it'll fit in the second tier of common's albums. First tier for me, common, is Light Water. Light Water. One Day at All, that makes sense, is my, one of my favorite albums. Yeah, too. One Day is, is and, dope. And, and Electric Circus is the first tier for me. Comedy. Yeah, Electric Circus, man, that's so That's good. a top tier. Those are three top tier. And then the second tier would be August Green. No, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. I kind of want to slide B's B. In the, B's in the top wanna, tier. I kind of want to slide B in there. I know. I'm about I to say. I messed up. I messed up. So here we go. I forgot. I forgot. Top tier common, you got Light Water, Electric Circus, B, and One Day It All Makes Sense. sense. And second I know, tier. I know, a lot of you old school guys are gonna be like, "Where's resurrection?" I'm sorry. It's in the second tier. But it's sorry. yes, second <laughs> and, tier. And depending on how I'm feeling on the day, it might be in third. So, but, depending on how much alcohol you have in you too, because he, he was drinking a lot of beer back then too. Yeah, yeah. And you can so, tell he was <laughs> mumbling and babbling. It was funny. He was freestyling stuff. I, he was all yeah, over the place. Yeah, yeah. he was messy. He, the, uh, watermelon is a good joint though. Yeah. Watermelon is really good. Resurrection, of course, is good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a couple of other joints, but. For a whole as an album, oh, Resurrection yeah, I used is... to love her on there, man. Don't forget about that song, man. That's, that's oh, a yeah, song. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I used to love her. Sorry. I used to love her. I keep forgetting Boy. that that's not on that... I mean, that that is on that album. I always keep thinking that it's on One Day. Nah, but anyway, nah. One Day is the joint with Lauren is on that one. Um, yeah. But third tier... No, second or tier. Or second, second tier is it would be Resurrection. Resurrection. Find It Forever. Find It Forever, yes. Um, I would put... Should Ooh, I put, we got the blue, the one with the blue, the, the blue skies, and the blue sky. Remember the the joint, the joint that um, uh, No ID produced the whole album. Remember that album um, they did? Oh, now we gotta go to his comedy. Now, he, so while he's doing that, so Resurrection, uh, Finding Forever, which is still solid. Um, then August Green will be in there. Um, 
Would I want to put? He, okay, he's got all the albums. That's what. That's why I'm messing up. Where would I put? Dreamer Believer's the album I'm thinking about. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the one with the blue, the, the, um, what the, the skies? That, that, that. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, so that's, that's the second, second tier. Second tier. Second tier. Second tier. There's now he has two albums that we didn't talk about. The Nobody Smile is the one I was trying to talk about. Nobody Smile. The next uh, album was Black America Again. That's what it's called. Oh, okay, okay. That came out cool. two years ago. So, and see, I never even knew about Black America Again. Yeah, that I one, just heard Kareem, some songs, Kareem did but... a lot of production on that one. I think okay. it was Kareem and him did a production on like, fully. Oh, it worked. I, I think it was fully. So, production. those are the top two tiers y'all, y'all should check out. Where if, if y'all are interested in getting into common. And then the third tier, tier, which you're not going to talk about. Which is universal mind universal control. mind control and you, like can I borrow a dollar? I say first I can wrap them plastic. That that comment. Yeah, <laughs> you did that. You made that song. We remember it. Man, I <laughs> tried to like that album. The I North, tried hard. The North always remembers. Yo, man, I tried <laughs> hard to like that album, boy. <laughs> UMC is just not. That yes, he, basically this album. This album was a precursor to August Green, this Black America again, because it's yeah. Riggins, Riggins, Glasper, Riggins, Glasper, Riggins, Riggins, Riggins. Yeah, Glasper. yeah. On oh, production, so it's basically this is the it's August like, Green was Black America again. It was basically August Green, the first in the rendition. Yeah. So uh, August Green, really like it, man. Where would you put it on a scale of one to ten? I'd give it like a seven point five. Yeah, because I, 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 there's one thing I'm like, ooh, so I, I wish. Okay, see, like, see, I'm sitting right at like a solid seven. My thing about the album is that like, the, the slowness. Yeah, but the, Kareem comes through. Ha says, Ha says, Universal Mind Control hurt a lot of people's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it did. Yeah, I, it my did, feelings it did. hurt. It but did. um, the thing is, uh, the one thing that's like not surprising, but it's the it's the keys, it's the glass part. It's yeah, very, like I would expect a little bit more layering of things. But oh, it was very, man. it was very like they were just playing, and it, I think they said it too. They were just yeah. playing, and they kind of came up with songs. And I just thought this like keys wise, it should have been a more a little bit more layered. Yeah, a little, there's some okay, songs okay. that are good, but it like it just like felt like the keys were almost. Like, it could have been a little more. It's almost like he, it was maybe like more complex, maybe. Yeah, a little or? more not complex, okay. but just more more layers to his okay. to his playing. Maybe just like another layer of him playing things on and stuff. Okay, Instead of, like just one just one piano, maybe a rose or something, and it's just straightforward. It just mm-hmm. it felt like more like if it was a trio, there a trio. That's the, like if they're doing shows. That's the way they do. Just a trio. Oh, okay. On the keys, and on the drums. I'm yeah, because like, the tiny desk is kind of like a pared down, almost. You know yeah. exactly like. That's the only thing I was like. I was surprised about that. Okay. That's, okay. that's why it gets a notch down, a couple notches yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna sit. Because common, at, common comes through. Yeah, common. Common is. Yeah, common comes correct with his rhymes. Great. I have to sit it at a seven. That dude that's singing, not Bilal. Samora Pender Pender Hughes. Sam- Samora Pender Hughes. I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like you fit with the song. Sometimes I'm like, what are you doing? I, I don't know where to put you. You, you you're confusing me. So I gotta I gotta bring it down. Gotta bring it down. A yeah. Oh, me. another thing is okay. All right. I know it's common. I know right. you know there's gonna be the soft tones and stuff in the background. Well, not always. Not always. I, 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 all I'm saying is okay. I felt the current. I felt comment. I felt this is gonna be a trio. It should have been a trio. Like there was maybe too much singing on this album. Oh, because he's okay. had like the last three albums have had you're, that same same tone to it. Like you're right. There's mad people singing on the drum, which I have no problem. But it's like you're right. You're right. It's just, he that's does. like a, a formula. Formula. I just like getting kind of tired you're, of. You're you're right. Yeah, because this joint is there's mad singing on this song. Every I mean, song has some singing. Yeah, there's mad singing. Uh, your on your boy Samora is on on like seven tracks out of the twelve or whatever. And he sounds like he honestly fits on two of those. There's two where I'm like, cool, you know, he fits on this. It, it kind of it kind of makes sense for him to be here because he has this weird, uh, kind of whiny. Well, how would you describe his voice? Kind of like sad, whiny, but almost I, I jazz tuned, house. I probably tuned him out. I jazz don't. House I don't whiny. remember what he even sounds like. I I probably just tuned. This is how he sounds. <laughs> Uh, my life, uh, my strife. Uh, jazz house whiny. That's what that's what I'm calling it. Jazz house whiny. Yes, okay. and he watches the show. But yo, man, look, Sorry. there's like two songs you should have been on. The rest of them, I I can't give them to you. So you held this. You held this album back. Right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you personally. 
<laughs> you took that out. You said, ah. You can't, you can't mess with somebody with last name Pender Hughes, man. All right, that was good. Good point. Think, think about his whole life, Pender Hughes. That's his, he right, grew you up know, in the school. And you know what? Kids pick it on because his last name is Pender Hughes. Good point. Good point. I take that back. I stopped calling him like Pender Dexter or Porn Dexter. Yeah, it's like. like that. <laughs> but he couldn't say his name, Pender Hughes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alan Lewis said low whiny tenor. <laughs> uh, man, so, All right, so let's get to your album. My album. You, uh, you brought, what album, album did you bring? It's an album that you were like, hey, have you heard this? And I'm like, no, I've only heard a couple songs. And you were like, what? You got to listen to this. And it's A Tribe Called Quest. Uh, thank you for your service. Or we got it from yeah. here. Got that thank, you for your thank, you, thank you for your service. Yeah. Um... I like this album. <laughs> this joint is this joint is you know what? Spoilers, full spoilers. This joint is pushing into like an eight five for me. This this I really like this one. I really like it. There is a there is a family vibe on this album. Like everybody's there. You got Consequence. You got Busta. You got even uh, Andre three thousand. I would have liked to have Big Boy on there. That would interesting. I would have liked to see Big Boy and Fife. Back and forth, mm. like have that song, mm. have that song with Tip and Andre, mm -hmm. and then flip the beat some type of way, and, and Andre and Big Boy. I mean, and, and sorry, and, and uh, Andre Fife and Fife. Big Boy, the Fife and Big Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's the only thing that I was just like, I was like, oh no, no, no hold up, there's no Big Boy. Like, like, like a album, speaker box, love below, like yeah. mashup kind of thing. But this album, man, this album knocks that. for me. Uh, it it works. I like the beats. I like the rhymes. I like the energy. We talk about it's energy all the energy. time. Very, the energy is there. The synergy is there. You can tell it, it was tribe. Was like okay. Yeah. That, that as a way, in my opinion, that's the way. That's the only way you can come back is with that energy. Because if you come back and it's like you're, you're punching the clock, we can tell. Yeah. We can tell. We're like, oh yeah. You I mean, can fake it a little bit, but you can't fake it for a whole nah. 13, 15 songs yeah, or something like that. Do that. You know, you can't fake it for a whole. Say if the al album is an hour long, you might be able to fake it for like ten minutes. Maybe 15, but that whole hour, it's going to show. Um, Alan Lewis said he gave the album a nine. Yeah, man, it's this album. It was, like was kind of it was surprising for me because like it it was let's see, it was almost twenty. Wait, it's almost twenty years since wow. from, from album to album. It was, right, like, it was like Love Movement years. was 98, 98, 99, 98, something like that. So ninety eight. Yeah. And, and that album came out two thousand sixteen. So it was it was wow. it was so eighteen years. Almost twenty years. It was eighteen years. Wow. And it see, because before I heard this album, all I had heard was Wall of Sound and um Wow, you heard Wall of and, Sound? Where'd your Wall of Sound at? Uh it was on somebody was uh mixtape or something. So random doing, though. That's like a, um, that wasn't even a single I don't think. Nah. Uh, and years. then their single, I saw the music video. Uh, so I, space so, program or No, not Space Program. Yeah, um We the People. Uh, we the People, okay. yeah. So we the people had a music video, so I saw that. And then, of course, people were going crazy about that joint. And then Wall of Sound was on some mixtape where somebody was like cutting it, and it was like weird the way they were cutting it because mm -hmm. they were chopping and screwing it, and then playing it at regular speed yeah. back and forth. So it was real cool. Um, so I was like, man, those are two hot joints. But the whole album, the, the a joint that I love, they have a joint near the end. Uh, what is it like, egos or ego? Yeah, egos. Yeah, uh, man. I really love that. And it's funny because when the beat starts, I'm like, man, this kind of sound kind of whack. Yeah. And then when the beat starts to go, I'm like, oh, I, yo, man, this album, I've listened to it since since last week when we chose our albums. I've listened to this album all the way through three times. Okay. I, I'm digging it. Usually yeah. I listen to it through once yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the, for the that's show. What, that's <laughs> what I was trying to tell you that, like, it, it, see, this was good. See, the thing is, like, when stuff like that happens, like, you got, you you got like I caught that wave when it happened. I was there. Uh, I, got, I caught everything. I saw the performances. I yeah, saw, I saw the SNL performance. Yeah, I remember yeah. that SNL performance. They, I think they performed at the Grammy too. Remember? Oh, the Grammys. All right. And that's when Tip was mad about them not even being. I think they didn't they play you nominated. I don't think. Wow. Or they didn't win the Grammy. I think Tip was still mad about that from like back in the days when you know when Tribe. Oh didn't win yeah, it, when Tribe. Won, yeah, Tribe never won nothing. They never won anything, so he was still kind of mad at that. He had like a video. I'm with, surprised like, Tribe like didn't that. win anything for like their second and third albums. But it's the Grammys, man. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the Grammys. The Grammys they don't. They don't. They're not yeah. for us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, 
So <laughs> I, I felt like like the album itself, when I first heard it, I was like, yes, this is what it should be, because the energy. Mm -hmm. like, yep. the, and the music, I'm like, it, but it's tips. I never had a problem with the music. It was always yeah. about the energy of them all being there and want, wanting to be there. Yeah. Not just like punches, like, oh, this is a check, so we got to be here. You yeah. can tell they all want to be there. You can tell they hung out with each other. It was Fife and Tip. Back, it all, Jerobi yeah. was rapping too, which I was like, yeah. wait, Jerobi rapped? Yeah. I didn't even know he We rapped. didn't even know. So I was like, whoa, that was a surprise. So it was like, it was a full try. Because I effort. thought Jerobi was just there the as hype, like, the hype man. like the spirit animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but he was rapping. When I first heard him rap, I'm like, that's Jerobi? I was like, oh, that's okay. you? I was like, so I was like, I'm not mad okay. at that. Okay, so it was really like interesting like how this album you yeah. have everyone rapping, you know? All the, all the all the rapping members are like the, yeah. the honorary members that were on this album. And it it works. Prodigy on it. Huh? Ain't Prodigy on this? No, no, no. no uh, sorry, not Prodigy. Um, Dag, I can't. Consequences on this joint doing a Prodigy kind of uh, okay, okay, okay. flow. Kind of flavor. But, but my boy's on there. Two of my boys are on there. Who? Yeah. Oh, Quali is on there. We talked about, we talked about Quali last week. But my other week. boy's on there too. Hey, baby. And yeah, he is. And yeah. it's a back is on here. So when I first heard I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and Kendrick's on there, too. And, and who else is on there? That's featured. Andre. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I forgot Quali is on the joint. I had no problem with his verse. BKMC. Nah, he, he's fine. I was fine with it. Yeah, he's fine. And Kanye's on it, too. Every, Kanye's everybody on comes it. correct on it. He's doing the hook. I'm like, so just so, just so. It's killing Yeah, season. yeah. So... It, you know, which is funny it, because Kanye and Quali has not have not been on a track probably since Gorilla Monsoon rap. No, a little bit later they did. He did mood with them. That beat uh, in the mood. What is that? Uh, what album? Highs, highs. I know you know the uh, know Quali's I album. <laughs> Quali's album. I can't. But uh, it's a call, song called "In the Mood." With uh, Kanye and Quali, I can't remember what album's what on, are you but I know you know. Go on, go on, go on, check, check hey, it wait, out. Wait, wait, is Kanye on a song? Yeah. Rapping? He's rapping too. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And I can't remember what album it is. No, no, but, no, don't, don't worry. I, I, I'll find and it. And I just, I just heard the song yesterday because I be listening to stuff on random. So it came up and I was well, like, well, what should we listen to music on then? Random. What, what, what do you listen to it on? Like, you're on like. Oh, I have a I have a whole bunch of songs on on a um on a uh, you, mini on a mini SD. Where are you getting the songs from, bro? Oh, I used to own the CDs and I put them to MP3. So you have this Quali CD too? Yeah. What Quali CD is it? I don't know. How you don't know? Bro? But it's 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 a song called "In the Mood," and uh, Kanye did the beat. Kanye's rapping on it, and it's a Quali joint. Um, mm. and. You you find here. I'll I'll find it. No 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 no. You don't have to find it. I'll uh, find it. <laughs> he was like, no no. I, I'm on the mission I'll, now. I'll find it. <laughs> but um, it this album really comes together. It's pleasing from every aspect, from the rapping, from the beats, from the. It has just like this community vibe where everybody's there. Everybody's happy to be there. Everybody's excited about it. And Fife rips it, man. Oh, it's, Fife probably, it's probably eardrum. That's probably why. Oh, okay, okay. That's what eardrum. It is. might be on eardrum, yeah. But mm. it's, yo, man, this album is definitely worth getting. Like when I said with August Green, I recommend it, but there's no rush. This one, yeah. I recommend it, and it is a rush. You eardrum. know what I'm saying? You need to get this joint. Why you hate no? I don't even remember. So I don't even remember that song. Why you hate no? Because everything so after Quali does not exist. No, it exists. It actually literally exists. Not in my universe. That's why you found not, it. Not in the Architron universe. It's already in your universe because you read it. I didn't read anything. You just read it. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I, I know you read it. I was in your universe when I read that. No. But now oh, I'm, back in, my, now, now, now I'm back, back in my universe. You were back in my universe. Yeah. I was over here when I did it. Now I'm back over here. back over there. So it don't exist. <laughs> oh, man. But this album, man, I recommend this highly. And if you haven't heard it and you like Tribe... You need to hear did it. You see the, did you see the space program program video? Nah, I've never see, seen it. So now it just came out like I think this year. Oh, all right. So cool. you gotta watch that. It's really cool. Yeah. Go up to the stars. Yeah, yeah, that's a joint. Yo. Yeah, it's a really good video. A really good video. Yo, yeah. man. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's. I love yo. This album is good, man. This album is solid. Very and good. It's, it was good to see Fife like 
at, it's still like Fife. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah. there was a moment they were like, well, you know, he had his health issues yeah, 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 and all that stuff. Him and Tip wasn't really getting along. Yeah, if you saw the you documentary, you, have you seen the documentary? Yeah, I've seen it. You understand? I, I saw the I saw the documentary. This is all right. I'll say this. Um, after seeing the documentary, I literally said this to my boy that I went to see it with. I was like, we just watched two grown men that can't say I'm sorry. That's, that's it. That's, that's a lot yeah. of, but that's a lot of groups. Yeah, a lot of hip hop, all can, groups in general. Two grown men yeah. that can't I say think, I'm sorry. I think the same thing with like Far Side and those kind of groups. There's like, this, there's like real, yeah. small, that's small, but like. Well, that's, what it, what actually, big it was small when it happened, but it festered. Yeah, yeah. And now it's two years, it's yeah. three years, it's five, so it was, it's ten years. It was now, good to see and like now that. it's like, I don't mess with him. And it's like, yeah. well, why? But it was good because oh, he did this. It was That's good to see a full thing. circle. Yeah, and now to come that. back and work together again, which was yeah. surprising. Very surprising. And like, because it was a while where they were on the outs. Yeah, like straight up on the outs. Yeah. And you could start to feel it in Beast Rhymes' life. Yep, and, yep, yep. That's me. But and, it didn't been love movement. You didn't feel it in love movement. Yeah, love movement is weird. Love movement like is like love movement is, is like a tribe, like a tribe tribe album for me. Yeah. Like I like yeah, love movement. It's a movement. very tribe. It's album. in the if we're going to do tears again, I put that in my top first tier. tier. Yeah, first tier. Love movement is the top tier album. Owen, midnight, uh, um, mi uh, love, 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 love movement. movement. Top yeah. tier. Love movement. You definitely need it. First Matt, album. You know what? Honestly, outside of Beast Rhymes' life and people's to a certain extent. Tribe only has a first tier. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tribe doesn't really have, like, beats. I and, would put beats in the second tier. Yeah, but I said outside of beats, there's I, really beats and peoples. Now, where would you put, now we didn't even go there, where would you put the new album? Would you put that in the first tier? Yeah. It would be low first, but it's still I, first. I put it like the, yeah, like the one, it's and, like, it's, and, it's, and, like, it's like one and one A. Yeah, one it's A. Like, <laughs> like, like, it's not that far off. Because it's it, not, it's not. Low end. It's not Midnight Marauders, but man, it has that feeling. It can battle. It, it can battle feeling. love. Movement. And then being, then being essentially twenty years removed, and they still got it. You got to give them. You kind of like when you give like style points or technical difficulty yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. You the for someone to walk away from the mic for twenty years, just about, and then to come back, and you're like, wow, yeah, I love this. But again, you got to give I, them their props. Something I always talk about. We always talk about. And I'm gonna talk about it forever. Yes. Synergy and yep. energy. Yep. The synergy was definitely was there because you can tell Bus was in the studio. Yeah. Consequence was in the studio. Fife was in the studio. Tip was in the studio. Jerobe was in the studio. You yep. can tell that they were they were all there together working on this project. Yeah. Um, and you can tell they wanted to make a statement. And they wanted to make it. Yeah, they like, we can do it. We can still do yeah. it. And they and, showed it. And they showed it in the crew. Thank God they did it, unfortunately, before, before Fife passed. Like, yeah. Because your last memory of Fife will be, thank you for your service. Thanks for your service. And that, and that actually, album. That, and the funny thing is, that was his working title. <laughs> and he never explained what it meant. So they, they, they left it as the album title. Wow. He just said, yeah, it's called, uh, you know, we Yo. got from here. Thank you, for, thank you for your service. And it's like ironic because it's, so like, it's yeah. almost like. It's almost like. He knew. He knew exactly. It's, it's like, like the, it's, like, it's like the Dillas Donuts. Yeah, thing. it's like, kind of like you knew. You know, and and like, there's, I mean, they even when you know, uh, like my grandfather, mm -hmm. he knew when it was close. Like the year that he passed, he he would he would say things to me like, "Don't forget this, and remember to treat people and do yeah. this, and treat folks like this, and stuff." So, like, kind of, he knew. Like, it ain't gonna be too long. Yeah. Uh, he knew. Almost like he. Put his life force into that album. Yeah, he was and like, that was, and that this was will just, be my And that would be his last life force, you know, like life yeah. force, uh, last breath of life. And I think that's a good statement. Yeah. Uh, way, a good way to. the album works, I mean, man. I mean, you know, nobody wants to go out, but I think that's a good way yeah. for, for a musician, for an artist, for a rapper. For your for, very last joint to be just top quality. Stellar. Stellar. Yeah. And I was yeah. happy. I'm like, yes. Cause like I didn't want try, I, I don't want no group I don't want no solo artists to come back unless you have that energy. Yeah, like you gotta it's, be because we gotta can be see excited it. about what you're you doing. Be excited, and, and you can tell they were all excited one, about it. Yep, the the joint with Busta and Fife going back. To, what man? Yo, we gonna listen to this after the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm listening to this album fun. three times. It's very fun. The I listened to it fun. last Thursday when we brought it up. And I listened to it like Saturday or something. Yeah. And I listened to it again today. Yeah. And, and straight through. No and it was like skipping, and it, no and it nothing. wasn't like, oh man, it, it, the sound is dated. It was an yeah. updated version of Tribe. Yeah, Quest. it was like a new. 
it was like a new tribe. Yeah. It, it was weird because it still had, it wasn't like we got the jazz tribe, but it still had like weird stuff where the beat just cuts off and you're like, huh? What? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Huh? What? That's the, that's the end of the song? Yeah, like, it still had the tribe. Like and I think that's definitely tip on the music tip and yeah. like his weird, yeah, idiosyncratic <laughs> things that he does with the music and stuff like that. Um, but I think that definitely, but it's just so great to think. It was great to like that for yeah. that to come out and be like the final stamp. Yeah. On the Tribe Called Quest name, you know. This is this is it. This so is I was happy. I was happy then. Yeah. I'm still happy. Like I listened to it, I'm like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just came out the video space program. Like it was like this year. I'm like, wow, yeah. it's like two years late, but uh, hey, great video. Yeah. And yeah. my thing is this: the thing about art is that if if you feel it's great and you had that energy behind it, put it out. Yeah. And yeah. they did it. Put and it they, out. And even it don't matter when you put it out, as long as you feel like it, it needs to be pulled out. And that, that yeah. was that that album I feel was necessary. Very necessary. Cause like cause like a group like Daylight keeps putting out they keep putting out albums. So yeah. it's not like we oh we missed Daylight. We missed there was like a void, a tribe void. You know like, yeah. oh, who's gonna like Yeah Daylight like, has continued to put out stuff. Um I haven't listened to anything they've put out since the AOI days. Okay. Uh, you listen um, to the Grand Day? Oh, sorry, Grind Date. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because okay. Grind Date was after Eric. That actually was so, yeah. the last time I saw Grind Date was the last one. Grind Date was, whoo, it had some joy. Oz there. knows all, all the Daylight albums. Yeah, He's like, because Daylight, on the sneak, Daylight got about 40 albums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got AOI, you got AOI Part 2. They didn't do a three, they did Grind Date instead. Yeah, Grind Date, yeah. And I can't remember nothing after Grind Date. But, yo, man, this Tribe joint. I'm gonna look it's up. just, it's just right. It's kind of like uh, where I was talking about Wreck-It Ralph this week, where I said it's just right. This tribe album is just right. It, it works. It works oh. so well. Hmm. Oh, what's up? According to this. Oh, we haven't missed that much. Okay, hold on. That can't be right. Well, Haas, where you at, man? Yeah, Haas. According to this, since Grind Date, the next album was the one that came out two years ago. Oh, the um, the anonymous man or the anonymous nobody. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. The anonymous, <laughs> anonymous man. man. The anonymous man in the corner. Pa Paz pop, is watching this show right now, like the, the anonymous man in the corner pop locking <laughs> to no music. Like the anonymous <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that so can't be right. This thing's wrong. It's got to be wrong. This. I remember. Be the, I remember them. Maybe this was the album that they were. They did the, 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 the GoFundMe. I think oh, this, the anonymous. This, yeah, yeah, yeah that was it. That was it. But they did that GoFundMe for like four or five years. It was a minute. Like they, I like GoFundMe's last that long. <laughs> man, <laughs> this is wrong, man. Yeah. But see, that's why we need like our correspond, our correction correspondent, Haas, because he yep. definitely knows. Yeah. They not like ins and out. He, he ain't saying nothing. Nah, he okay. Haas must be gone. Yeah, but I will say good. this: since we've done both of our albums, we we enjoy them. We recommend them. There's been some hip hop news as of late. There's hip hop news. Oh I, yes, I, I've not. I've been. You I've been you busy. may not consider this hip hop news. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Bad baby. Who's bad baby? Oh, the, with the B H B H yeah, A D I E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what happened to bad baby? Uh, she threw a drink on your girl. <laughs> we are really pivoting on this one. Like, we went. We have like two pivoted. like rap, 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 albums. rap, rap. And so and this so is so bad baby. This is wow, rap. Wait, wait, so what? So Cardi B, Cardi B had a, uh, Cardi B had a, um, What beef with Cardi, Cardi B got beef with Well, she, else? this was Cardi B's party. Uh oh. And, um, not Azalea Banks. What's the girl? The white girl that be rapping. Iggy Azalea? Iggy Azalea, yeah, yeah. Iggy, uh, Iggy, 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 Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. One of the Azaleas. <laughs> Iggy Azalea of the Azalea clan. <laughs> yeah, of the Uh, Bad Baby threw a drink on Iggy Azalea. Um, and not only did she throw the drink, but they had a little Twitter back and forth. Iggy was like, you know, I don't mess with little girls. Because Bad Baby is like 15. Yeah, yeah. And straight up, I'm going to be honest. Wait, so Cardi, this is, Cardi B has nothing to do with it. Cardi this B had nothing to do with okay, it. Okay, it was just Cardi B's party. Oh, okay. And she had a Fashion Nova thing, and she's okay. doing her fashion stuff, getting a fashion on. Okay. And, you know, they were at the party. And Bad Baby, since she knows how... I'll, I'll give Bad Baby this. Bad Baby is stretching out that 15 minutes, boy. Yeah. She is, stre she is stretching that sh out. He is stretching it out so well. Because, <laughs> honestly, she should have been like, hey, remember that bad girl that was on Phil, Phil, uh, on, um, Dr. Okay, Phil? Dr. That's what she was, but I don't know where she came from. Yeah, so she was on Dr. Dr. Phil, and that's where she did Catch Me Outside. So it was uh, like, 
It, it should so have been like say it on the show. Was that like an internet thing? And then she nah, she said it. Show. She said it on the show. Oh, who was she talking it, to? Uh, she was talking to uh, um, Doctor Phil, I believe. Oh, okay. She was who? Let me know. I can't. I want to say she was talking to Doctor Phil, but she said "catch me outside," meaning catch, catch me, me outside. outside. And then it just became an internet Amazing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, she should have just been the girl that was like, "Oh, remember that girl that was acting up on Doctor Phil a long time ago?" Man, I have was you crazy. heard any of her music? I think I've heard one song, and you're not missing nothing. Okay. <laughs> you're not. You, you, I ain't gonna be. Saying there's that. no rush. <laughs> yeah, you can pump. Wait, wait, is is the only releasing music anymore? Does she? Uh, she out? said. She said she got a joint coming. I don't okay. think so. I think she's Anybody. done. Anybody um, trying to hear that? <laughs> Alan Lewis said, <laughs> "Bad Bobby, aka Ghost Barbie." Then he said, Alan, uh, I mean, uh, Iggy Azalea, a.k.a. Australia's worst rapper from the land down under. <laughs> I forgot her name is Amethyst. Who? Uh, Iggy Azalea. Oh, uh, man. When your mama named you Amethyst. Like, Amethyst you, Amelia Kelly. You know you, you're no, going no, places. No relation, no relation. You know you're going I don't, places. I don't know like that. We mean related. <laughs> you know you're going I places. I don't know nobody down under. Name your, name your child Amethyst. I don't come from a land down under. <sighs> hey, hey, look. Well, that's the hip hop news we got. Right. That's it. No, that's, nothing else. Nothing. Not, Lil Wayne. That, nothing. Nothing. Not no, Lil Wayne. Cool. Kendrick. No. Cole. Kendrick. No, uh, no. Ox. Uh, Oxnard drops tomorrow. That ain't hip hop. I guess it is hip hop. Yeah, it is. is hip hop. He, he will be rapping. On oh that yeah, song. he is rapping. I forgot. Yeah. You. I mean, Anderson Pack raps. Oh yeah, I forgot. I rap. Yeah, like that James Brown back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. That drops tomorrow, so you guys can check that out. Dre, you know, is the executive producer, I believe. So, you know, he's doing his Dre thing. That, that boy, that boy, he don't like nobody. I no, know. no, no. <laughs> it's just my hate word that they named Dr. Dre. I, I feel kind of... He's a doctor. I feel kind of dirty when I hear his name. I know he was doing some dirty business back in the days. Uh, and, yeah, true. And currently. Oh, Mariah mm -hmm. Carey dropped her album today. So, you know, all y'all people okay. that want to hear a girl be like, <laughs> okay. that's for you, Mariah. You said Mariah Anderson Pack dropped today. Show. So I could have I found it. Oh, it dropped today? Oh, I thought it was dropping tomorrow. Sure, so man, my sure. information was wrong. Sorry, guys. It dropped today. So we will, oh, big, big uh, notice. Next week we won't be here because, of course, you guys should Actually, be. the next two weeks we're not going to be here. Next two weeks, right? I ain't even gonna be. Oh, yeah, here. next two I come weeks. In on, yeah, I we're, come in on Thursday. Yeah, we're we're off for the next two weeks. Next week, you guys should be eating turkey and chilling. Yeah, Thanksgiving. And then and then the 29th, yeah, you know, not, not the 29th. And yeah. then the 29th, 29th. y'all should just be, I don't know, just listen go listen to, you know, space program again or something. And, yeah. And, and, and so think we'll, about So us. we'll basically see y'all in December. Yeah. We'll see y'all I mean, December. We could technically now, we'll, do the show. I Get here early, but it'd be kind of weird. It'd be too much. Yeah, it'd be crazy. Could I be coming from a flight? Yeah, five ain't, hour ain't, flight, six nah, hour flight. Ain't worth it. But hey, guys, check it. Look, for us, you know what I'm saying? Going to package up, you know what I'm saying? The illest of your grandmas or moms, like little cakes and cookies and pies, and send them on to us, all right? Send them on to us. I'd like some. I'm sure he'd like some. Maybe like a piece of chicken or something. You know what I'm saying? You can, I don't know, ziplock it up. Put it in one of those things where they suck out the air. It's like it's a vacuum pack. And go on and send it. You know what I'm saying? We put in some Tupperware. Yeah, some Tupperware. You know, you know your mom done kept that Tupperware from like the Chinese food spot. Just sit it in that. <laughs> the one, the one where you try to put the lid on and it don't be like it's real hard to get the lid back on it. Yeah, no you know, you know, put it in a washing machine and warped a little bit, but you still try to make it work. <laughs> but, I got a bunch of those actually. <laughs> me too. <laughs> But it's back from the Philly Chinese yeah. store, man. I got, man. I'm a hoarder. Yo, man. Look, I'm a hoarder. As you see, there's a hoarder stuff behind me. Hoarder. Yo, yo, honestly, I'm that dude that got like mad packs of sauce from like, uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. Burger King, yeah. you know, like wherever. Even, even regular real restaurants, if they give you a pack or something. Yeah, what last, I'm wait, 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 hold on. What, have you been to Burger King out here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have. It's, what, what's it like it, out here? It's okay. Cause I have not. Been, it's I'm, not. It's not the East Coast. Burger I have King. not been to Burger King in about ten years. Yo, Since I used to work at Warm Days and on Philadelphia, on um, Delaware Ave. Everybody oh, who really know what I'm talking about. Yo, man, look. Let me tell you about Burger King in LA. First thing, I'm a Burger King alumnus. I right? I was working at Burger King when Ooh, I was in high school. Okay. All right? Okay. 
Burger King in LA, they yo, they slacking, man. Because they all look dirty and dingy. Yo, like, yo yeah, like, it's up. like yo, like yo, look, clean up, B. <laughs> like McDonald's got y'all beat out here. Yo, McDonald's is crushing it in LA. Burger King is straight dude. Just go through the just, all, all just go the, through the drive through man. All Don't the walk Burger in. Kings look dirty. Like they just look old. Don't they, they look like, old? Oh, they need an update. They ain't yeah. got they ain't you making know the what? money. They yo, making the Burger money. King, check it. Burger King, holla at uh, your boy. You know the reason why our Burger... interior de design yo ish have y'all straight. You know why they're down? What's up? Cause we in Atlanta, In and Out. Oh yeah, In and Out, In and Out. Yo, if y'all ain't been to In and Out. I'm not super impressed by them because I'm from the East Coast. Five guys, what up? But, you know, in and out the line be around the block, B. Uh, the only, the in and out there's two things I get from in and out And there's one thing <laughs> I always avoid. All right. I'll get the burgers. All right. Because it's, for me, that sort of... The burgers are solid. Solid. They're not, they're not lying around the block good, but they're no, good. No, but they're, they're, they're yeah, decent. They're decent well, burgers. Well, we got to remember, we're in California. The yeah, they, they, don't, they, food, don't, they don't know. Their food... Not Yo, the best. To be a big city, elements. We we need to have a show about yeah, that. LA Cause see, we're both from the East Coast. We know. LA food. Is LA food is straight. Yo, matter of fact, LA is the first city on the water that I've ever been to whose seafood game ain't on point. Nah, nah, nah. Yo, you go to Baltimore, you go to Virginia Beach, you go to New York, you go anywhere on the water on the East Coast, you get laced. You know, crab, lobster. You know what I'm saying? Scrimps. You know what I'm saying? Shrimp, that's some little baby joke. Scrimps is like, clap out. I'm just telling you. Look, yeah, LA is. They, they weird. It must be the water or something. Yo, it, it maybe is. it's like the water is too much surfing. And the donuts is kind of. Mm. The donuts is straight whack. Randy's donuts, all right. First, let me say this to all my Randy's donut lo lovers. Because see, now I'm going to get a lot of LA hate, and I know it. But Randy's donuts really ain't that good. They're big donuts. But and you know, you know, it's for people who are who's from out here. They don't know. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, you don't know. Don't I, I can't know. blame you. You don't even understand. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? I got. I would have to take you somewhere. I would have to take you to Baltimore to actually have like a crab plate and be like, "Dang, this is crazy." Some some of that old bay. Take you up to Maine or at least to New York where you get it from Maine where you can get a real lobster roll. I had a lobster roll out here, and Joe was like, this big, B. Look, let me let me treat yourself to a real lobster roll on the East Coast where that joint looked like a, a Philly cheesesteak with mad lobster just falling, just matriculating out of it, all right? It's, L.A. just, oh, man. It's, yeah, that is one thing I was like, wow, that's really, I think I had donuts here. <laughs> I've had. Alan Lewis said Dunkin' Donuts is better. Uh, Carl's Jr., you know what? Oh, Chick-fil-A, they do have a Chick-fil-A out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chick-fil-A um, is still. Chick-fil-A is, is, Chick you know? Chick is solid everywhere. Chick-fil-A is solid everywhere. Um, Shouts out to Chick-fil-A for always get my order right, but they did forget my sauce last time I went there, so I got to ding you, but I still got love they for They forgot you. my drink, but you know I, I went back for my drink. Oh, you went back. See, what I love, I was like, yo, where my Chick-fil-A sauce? Yo, look, all right, Polynesia for the nuggets, French fries for the Chick-fil-A sauce. For the like, yo. I, I do, I do honey mustard for the, for the, for the, for the, I, do, I get, yo, man, you, you get the, I get the, like, the chicken strips, man. Oh, the strips? I'm oh, stri see. I, I've been a strip dude because it's like, it's. Oh, it's too, I, it's too circular or something? Or yeah, it's, it's too much bread and stuff around. Oh, uh, the bread be hiding the meat. All right, I, I feel you, I feel you. So I'm more I like, you. I feel you get more bang for your buck if you get the strips. All right, I'm word, a strip kind of dude. Stri all right, all right, I, I respect that, I respect that. See, we. And Carl's Jr. is Carl's Jr. is not bad. Is it not I've bad? never had a Carl's, um, Hardee's, none of them. Junior, none Carl's of them. Jr. is okay. Never had none um, of them. Oh, Alan Lewis said, "Who knows about churches?" All right, check it. Church's chicken is where you can get like a hundred pieces of chicken for like thirteen ninety nine. <laughs> Yo, all right, back home in VA, Church's chicken is always in the hood. But it's not bad. They're kind of doing the most good out there. They got them honey butter biscuits. You get three of them for a dollar. This is the one thing I'm <laughs> very upset about California. One thing I'm like, man, y'all y'all don't y'all haven't got this right at all. What? Pizza. Yo, yo, Cali's pizza game is strict. Yo, all right, look, look, look at his face while I tell you this. California Pizza Kitchen is not pizza. All right, just because you put some sauce on a piece of bread and put meat down there, that's not pizza. All right, your whole business is fraud. Bruh. <laughs> I've only found one pizza place. <laughs> Thomas said churches gives you high blood pressure. <laughs> instant high blood pressure. Yo, instant. But it'd be, it'd be that good blood. You'd be like, mm, <laughs> mm, mm. 
Mm. All I'm saying, I've got to go to the doctor. I found this one good. Place. Shout out to the dough room. Okay. You ever been there? Nah. It's in it's 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 a kind of weird. It's in a weird. It's in a weird place. Olympic Boulevard somewhere, and I, I guess up there uh, somewhere. Uh-oh. All I want to say is this: that's the only place I actually can get pizza from. Right. I've taken Haas there. Haas knows. All I've right, taken cool. Tavana there. She knows. Okay. All right. It's, it's out here. It's out here on Lincoln. No, uh, Olympic. Olympic. All right. It's cool. Like up somewhere. It's like not all. Like East Olympic or around like where? I ain't from around here. I don't know. All right. Cool. Look up the dough room. The, the dough, dough room. room. The reason right. why I know because I used to do Uber Eats. And I was like, uh, and really? I, I, I smelled the like, This is really good. It's like what? It's so like, um, that's really? what happened when I do Uber Eats. I was like, okay, it smells good. Let me see if I. So that first time I had. <laughs> like, Let me get a bite. Right. I'm gonna give it the to you. The first bro. time it happened, and I was like, I'm gonna get some pizza for the first time out here. Right. I was doing Uber Eats. I'm like, cool. I'll get some pizza. But that's not like non Domino's, non pizza. Yeah, that's like actual like a place. Even though I will give it to Domino's, they've stepped their game up in recent years. Domino's uh, is is passable. Yeah. So I went. I was like, cool. It smells good. I'm gonna go back to this place when I'm done with my shift or whatever. All right. Go back, get the pizza. I'm like, cool. It's pizza. This is not the dough room. Some other place. Right. I came. They're, they're, they're. I don't know their name, but they're nameless now. But um, so I'm like, cool. I'm gonna get some pizza. Smell good. Hey, how much is it? Cool. Whatever it is, cool. It's good. good. So oh yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm like, cool. I got a home, man. And it's something I like to call pizza soup. <laughs> pizza soup is just basically where, like, the cheese made it had some, it was like frozen cheese or something. Yeah, and the water and like, the cheese came it's like, out. It's like mushy and cheese, it makes it, the milky bread all mushy. So yeah. you, when you pick it up, the, everything just slides yeah, off. Yeah, it's like, sweet. AKA pizza soup. I was very upset. So after that moment, I was traumatized for a while. Until yeah. I was like, you know, there's another place, a dough room. Let me check this stuff out. The best pizza I've had since I've been out here. And it's wow. the only pizza I will go to. The dough room? The I, dough room, yeah. I uh, see. Oh, it's a- <laughs> Yo, Thomas said, California pizza is high class struggle. <laughs> then he said, uh, if y'all want pizza, go to Chicago's running the shy. All right, so is this a, a chain? Can we get it outside of Chicago? We got to go to the shy. Like, no, I mean, no, Chicago, that's what I mean. Chicago got pizza. Chicago yeah. pizza. Yeah. New York pizza. That's, 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 Yo, that's like state. That deep dish, like, don't sleep, man. That deep dish. Yeah, I've been to Chicago, been to Chicago, been to Chicago, been to New York. Obviously, I've been to New York because I'm you know, on the East Coast, but. Yeah. Yo, all right, but so. Yeah, that pizza game is trash out here. All right, the Rio Hotel and the Casino Carnival Buffet in Vegas is the best buffet I've been to, even better than Golden Corral. Shouts out to people that know about Golden Corral. I know though. about Golden Corral. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I know we know, oh, but okay. I'm just saying to the, you know, shouts out to Golden Corral. You know, Golden Corral has been a staple of VA uh, uh, dining. Uh, let's see how we should we say connoisseur. I was gonna say extraordinary. I was gonna say connoisseur. The way your fingers are going, like, he about to say something like. Maggie, <laughs> wait, have you been to Sizzlers out here? Yo, Sizzlers. All right, here's what Sizzlers a weird spot because it's kind of okay, but then it's like. Did you have Sizzlers like, growing up? Over yeah, there? yeah. Uh, we had. And they Sizzler. closed them down, right? Yeah, they closed them down. Same in Jersey. So, like in Jersey, there's Sizzlers. So when my parents came out here. Like Sizzlers, <laughs> and it's, it's, like, it's right down the street from here. Yeah, yeah. We didn't go. To, we went to one on um, near the near the um, Westfield uh, Mall, whatever. Okay, so that's sort of kind of closer to me. Yeah, the right. across the street. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. So it's Sizzlers. Okay, it's not as good as I remember it being when I was little, but it still gets it done. Yeah, it's like, okay. I'm not. I'm not mad with you know. You get a burger and you get your salad. You get some. You get a salad bar. You get some croutons and stuff. So I mean, it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? But it. I remember it being better when I was little. But maybe I just been spoiled. I don't really remember when I was little. I just remember we going like a couple of times when I was little. Like uh, Sizzlers, it's cool. All Sizzlers <laughs> closed down. Yeah, in Vegas before. Yeah, it's like Sizzlers oh. when they started closing out all the chains. Thomas said, shouts, "Yo, Thomas said Ponderosa used to be lit." Yo, shouts out to Ponderosa. That's super old school. I was like right. mad little, but Ponderosa had like illest everything. And shouts out, extra shouts out to y'all if your mama. Used to uh, let you put like cookies and little rolls and stuff in her big old purse. Take them home after the break. Yo, look, I'm just keeping it real. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shouts out that. to Sliding Food. We, we had just for the, the dog buffet. bag and that's it. Yo, Ryan's we had a dog bag, but we didn't give it to the dog. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan's was flames. Don't sleep. Ryan's had these rolls. Let's not, talk, yeah. let's not go on deep dive. No, yeah, Ryan's, we, don't, we don't know no Ryan's. Ryan's is a chain. They're a uh, hometown buffet. Ryan's and Are, are and they whoever. a chain outside of Virginia? Yeah. I never heard of Ryan's in all You ain't uh, never heard of Ryan's? Who that? Yo, shouts if y'all know about Ryan's. You know Nobody what I'm saying? Know about no Ryan's. <laughs> I know about old Ryan, the, the, the constellation. 
Which should be out right now, I think, in, in the Western Sun, or Don't. Western Stars, <laughs> Western Sky, I guess. So. Well, if, if you look, a, a good buffet is worth it. There's one Golden Corral out here, but it's far. It's mad yeah. far. It's weird. It's in Downey. Oh, okay. It's all right, though. It's not bad. It's, I may have it's, it's super packed, but it's all right. It's, like, they come correct. The steak is on point. You know what I'm saying? I get my medium well, and they hold me down. Because I'm just saying, I don't want blood running all food out of my food. Out. Chinese food is weird out here, too, man. Yo, Chinese food is straight weird at. You think the West Coast was the closest, coast is closer to the, to the uh, Asian continent. You know what I'm saying? Asian food would be dope, right? Wrong, wrong. Unless, unless all the Asian people are like hiding the the good Asian food from us, all right? Is what? It's, it's a very surprising. I mean, yo. I guess everything out here, like you get either, like, yo, super healthy or super. Thomas, trashy. he brought up Kane's chicken. I have never had Kane's chicken, but I might try to grab it this weekend because I will be in Orange County. Well, sort of Orange County because I'm going to uh, Designer Con this weekend. Oh, shout out to if another, you're going to another con. If you're going to Designer Con, oh, you guys I'll be there on Sunday. Um, so I might try to pick up some we chicken. Should, we and should have pre roll with the with the. Oh yeah, because we talk about the cons, man. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Con over here, we're gonna call him Mr. Con. Yo, one year I'm gonna try to go to every. I'm gonna try to do a road trip and con all across the. Of course you all are. Across the country. Of course you're gonna try to do that. Of course. <laughs> But, but uh, <laughs> yo, Canes, I'm going to have to, Zaxby's, yeah, Zaxby's is dope. Um, I had some, I can't remember, I want to say like two years ago, Zaxby's dope. But um, yeah, man, like don't, it, it, LA just needs some help. I don't know what it is, You know what it is? Like, it's either super healthy or it's super trashy. Yeah. There's no in between. There's, there's no, no, like, no, like, because the food is like, out here is geared for like the kale people. Like kale yeah, and, true. Kale so like there's no like quinoa. And and any comfort people. food stuff like pizza or you know wings or you know it's it's just not. You gotta go point. to a chain for anything. Yeah. At least like something. like wing stop, but that's another. Yeah, chain. Yeah, you have to go to yeah. a chain. You can't go to like random like. Yeah. I mean, okay. Like, what like they, Mama's chicken. What you they can't do go have out here is burritos like, and the Mexican. Oh food. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I will say, lock tacos <laughs> out here. Flames. L.A. got they tacos got that on right. That's only one of the only, the food only <laughs> they got right. I L.A. Mean. got tacos on flames. As someone who never liked tacos growing up, because all I know about tacos was Taco Bell, <sighs> my wife knows about the real tacos. <sighs> and she took me to this like, uh, like food truck, right? Yo, changed my life. Your tacos, they got, that's the one Yo, thing. All the things we're saying bad about this? Cali, Tacos, they got. Tacos saves them. Mexican food, they got right. Yeah. And that tacos is, is what saves and them. And that one makes sense because, you know, Mexico. Yeah, right Mexico, there. like right here. Like, we could drive they to better Mexico. better get that right. And, we could drive to Mexico in like two hours. We, we, we'll, we'll give you the Asian food. Why I can't get that right. But we, yeah, you can't we, fail on the Mexican food. Yeah, you can't fail on that. Uh, let's happens. see. Washington needs help too. Up here in Washington State, the food lacks one key ingredient seasoning and soul. I, I was going to say soul got to be one ingredient. <laughs> There ain't no mom putting their foot in it. That's what the problem. <laughs> Thomas said Cali makes food for people in the second place. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's why Kanye's in there. I guess yo, he be man, Cali see, food. Kanye be yo, he be eating that. He be he be loving that Cali food, man. <sighs> it's fun. Oh, in the mood, in that song in the mood where he's on with that doesn't Talib, exist. Okay, he talks about he literally. He's talking about just a random girl, like you know, I want a real a girl with real with a real booty and blah blah. blah. I'm like. Uh, this was way before you met Kim. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is way before you met Kim. Wait, 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 wait what year was um? Andrew? I don't know. That was 07? 07. <laughs> Thomas said if Latinos are in the area, tacos are going to be fire. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, L.A. taco game is on point. It changed my life. Burritos is, look, I right, check it. I've never been a super fan of burritos or Mexican food in general. I've liked Mexican beans and rice, but that's out, just because I grew up. But your whole life, bro. This Mexican dude had a shop uh, on like Sepulveda or something, and he made he has a burrito and he put French fries in it. Now I'm sitting there thinking, French fries and a burrito? That's stupid. Fire. Who would do that? Fire. I was wrong. That's a California in the best burrito. of ways. That's a California burrito. That's Yo, what they call it. That's what man, the fries in it. I was wrong in the best of ways. Fire. Steak, fries, 
like a little bit of like guacamole, some rice and stuff. I don't know what's in there. It's, it's look, Bean, it's, rice, beans, it's sauce, magic. Or some sort, right? some it's sort amazing. Of like sauce of some sort. <laughs> they have a, always had like cilantro in it too. That's like yeah, that. little, like little, 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 yeah. little hit. Yo, man, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. it's playing. Yeah. See, man, you, you, you ever so, been? Oh, see, you're gonna talk. See, you ever been to Benny's, man, over there on? Um, Benny's is dope. Yo, Benny's. Uh, my job ordered from Benny's one time. Flames, Benny's Tacos, on man, point. You gonna maybe order from Benny's tomorrow. Man, look, yo. Guys, what, you know what, LA? We, you you brought us back because of tacos. You brought us back. Anything else, though, you're whack. All right, burgers, you're whack. Pizza, you're whack. I don't know, wings and stuff, yo, you're whack. But tacos. Show, they kale is fire out here, man. Yo, but ta yo, get your kale, though. Yo, kale be like you want, a, you want some almond Kale milk? be like a dollar. <laughs> like, 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 like at the Dallas store. Like, yeah. I'm gonna get, get you some kale. But nah. You want some, you want some almond milk? But, they my, got mom, you but my mom was out here and she said these this kale's the kale, she didn't say this, but I'm like paraphrasing. <laughs> she said the kale is lit. That's what she said. Yeah. She said yeah. we can't get kale like that on the east. Oh, ah, okay. She okay. said it's green, it's all leafy and stuff like that. They don't get that on there. Okay. I've had kale on the east in Philadelphia. Yeah. Nah. And the kale out here is like real kale. So yeah, it's if if you're a vegan, LA is gonna be dope for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're someone who wants like uh, like a burger or a pizza or, or um, like fried chicken or something like that, it's because Roscoe's like look. I was, gonna ask you about, I was gonna ask you about Roscoe's. It's okay. Yeah, Roscoe's okay. It's not. It's good if you if you really hungry. It's, it's a good place to go. It's not the best chicken I've had. The chicken's okay. Waffles Chick okay. Chicken ain't even like the fifth best I've had. I'm I not, wouldn't even put I wouldn't put Rock, Roscoe's chicken in my top ten, yo. I don't That's have, how I don't bad have like top ten fried chicken. Uh, mm, I don't really have, I don't think it, I've had that many different just, varieties of people's fried chicken. It's just but trash. KFC, me, KFC it, it, back in the day, way back in the day, like 20 way years, back in the day, twenty years ago. Last time I had KFC. Yeah. KFC out here needs somebody need to call the corporate KFC, office on them. Son. Like, <laughs> uh, I've never even had Popeyes. Oh before. snap! Thomas said, if you want a girl with no curves, go to Cali. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm not even going. I'm not going to dignify that. I'm not going to say anything one way or another. I'm gonna leave LA alone on that one. I'm gonna <laughs> oh man, Waffle House. I've never. I did buy a house. Yo, I've never been to Waffle House. Like Waffle House. Time. Yo, Waffle, Waffle House. House is. It's a very southern thing. Yeah, super southern. It's like yeah, have, have some in Virginia, right? Yeah, we got Waffle yeah. House in VA. That's when. But, that's when you know you're in the South. Yeah, like once you see Wait, Waffle House, I'll give you that. You're in the South. Yeah. But I, I'll say this, Waffle House is very hit or miss because Waffle House is known for being the place to go after the club. Mm. And after the club. Now it's like a diner. So yeah, it's, it's like, like a diner. Okay. Yeah, I've been, the I think club, I've been there once. After the club, certain people can make or break your experience. There's three places down south. You got IHOP, you got Denny's, you got Waffle House. That's it. That's where you're going after the club. Or you're going home, you know, do your thing. So... I've seen fights in Waffle House. Oh, I've seen fights okay. in Denny's. I've seen fights in IHOP. Oh. And it, yo, look, man, when you get all, you get a whole bunch of people. Everybody been drinking. People mad. They waiting in this long line to eat. And people. What be is the line at Waffle House? Yo, man, people be people be waiting for Waffle House for real. Just go home. Is Waffle House? I've always been a, a IHOP. It's like IHOP. Denny's Waffle House for me. But then I had other friends that were like Waffle House, Denny's IHOP, you know what I'm saying? So hmm. you, you Mine will go in the same same order. Waffle uh, IHOP, Denny's uh Waffle House. Yeah, that's House. where but I'm granted, at. I've only had Waffle House like once or twice. It's for me, it's okay, but I know people that swear by Waffle House. Yeah. I've never been a Waffle House dude, but yo, Waffle House, if you wanna if you wanna sponsor this channel, holla. Because we know they women. watch the show. Because we course. know the yo, whole corporation, the whole watches, corporation the watches, watches the show. show. Hey, how you guys you know doing? What up? How's it Welcome. going? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you wipe that table down with a fresh, clean rag. A clean rag. And that's something you know. A wipe. clean rag. <laughs> wipe the toilet bowl. And that's what I wanted to say. Yuck. Yo, yo. <laughs> Waffle House will kill a fly with a spatula and then flip your butt. <laughs> the heat will kill the, the germs. You know what I'm saying? That's all good. That's, that's what give it seasoning. You know what I'm saying? A little seasoning. Yeah, a little, a little, a little, little taste. Little seasoning. Little like, taste. Man, this, this bird tastes real good. What's, what's in it? Mm, mm -hmm. little, little, little flies wings. Little, you know what I'm saying? Little, little, fly, little, little fly, 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 fly bug. You know what I'm saying? Little, fly juice. Little, 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 little extra. Little, little extra for little, you. Bug juice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> little, it, 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 it's never tastes better. Yeah. <laughs> but, but guys, 
Thanks for hanging with us. You know what? I might cut this and actually put it on the channel separate because it's just so much fun. We just had a, we just had a food segment. We had a food segment. For like half the show was like a food segment. <laughs> I think it was. You know, Yo, actually, it was like a half hour. Yeah. Actually. It was like almost a half hour. Yo, food. straight up. But it was worth it. So, guys, from us to you, <laughs> thank you for watching. To my left, it is. <laughs> Arcatron, A-R-C-K-A-T-R-O-N.com. <laughs> and to my right... Nerd Soul, N E R D S O U L. Check me everywhere Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And if you want to talk about how good or bad LA's food game is, holla at your kid. God. But until then, make sure you share this out to your friends that love that hip hop or love arguing about who has the best food. And hit that thumbs up. If you hit that thumbs down, I'm going to send Bad Baby after you. I'm just yep. saying. So <laughs> from us to you, thank you for watching. Check out a trial called Quest. Thank you for your service. Check out August Green. Till next time in December, peace. Peace. <laughs>